internet friends, it is I, L7, and Babe here. Um, we're both sick, but he's playing his game and I wanted to film a video for YouTube. <laughs> so here I am and we have all our cuddle buddies here with us. Uh, but we weren't that worried at first when we first started getting sick because I got sick and I was like, oh, it's just a cold, blah, blah, blah. But then our, like, family started freaking out a little bit, so we went to the doctor and the doctor told us that we have got the stomach flu because, uh, I hate to admit, but we both have diarrhea. We're like, we have symptoms of the coronavirus, but it, we don't have the coronavirus, so... I don't know. We were worried about it, but not really. We knew we were healthy because we're young. Um, we're uh, we're young. We're healthy. We take care of ourselves. Since we've gotten sick, we've been doing like all the proper precautions, like getting lots of rest, um, uh, getting lots of rest, taking medicine, drinking lots of water, uh, doing that kind of stuff. The medicine that I have been taking is Dayquil and Nyquil. And of course I've been taking that like during the day and then during the night. And then I have got vitamin C that I'm take that we're both taking. And then um it's a bit late for vitamin C because that's supposed to boost your immune system and our immune system is shot and our it's too late to boost it, but I mean whatever, we'll still try. Um and then we got what else? I got Vicks Vapor Rub, Vicks Vapor Rub, uh, I got Epsom salt uh to soak in to try to sweat it out. We got hot tea. Uh, we are set for this sickness. We are going to survive. Here's our little pharmacy. Uh, this is an ice chest, ice bucket thing. Uh, we've been keeping it full of ice so we can drink a shit ton of water. So yeah. And we have been drinking a shit ton of water. And also, drinking hot tea is supposed to help when you're sick because you have a fever because your body is trying to get your body temperature up to kill the fever. And drinking hot stuff and taking hot baths will help kill the fever or help kill the disease or whatever it may be. So there's just a little hack. Yep. Y'all probably already knew that, but maybe not also. But now you know even more. Now you know times two. We've got a toilet paper miraculously for some reason everybody just like swarmed and just bought fucking toilet paper why are you gonna go buy toilet a bunch of toilet paper first off if you were concerned about the coronavirus like being made in china or whatever oh my god i have so many conspiracies about this i can make a whole video on my conspiracies about the coronavirus and i don't care if anybody says it's insensitive because I just don't care. If it's insensitive, don't watch it. But, uh, anyhow, um, uh, where was I at? We are set for this, uh, we're set for this disease. Like, we're not gonna die from it. We're good and healthy. Um, but we're just laying in our bed. We have quarantined ourselves inside, uh, the camper, even though we're living with my parents because we're, like, renovating the camper. I actually, this is the last room I have to renovate because the whole rest of the camper is looking good. I just have to change out the couch. But this is the only room that I haven't um, renovated and of course it's the room we're filming in. But anyhow, we've quarantined ourselves in here because my dad, he's a bit older and right now it's tax season and he's an accountant. So he... Um, he gets very stressed out and tired around this time. So if he was to get sick, even with like the stomach flu, that would not be good for him at all. And he has to see patients, and I, or not patients, he has, he has to see clients. So I don't want him to have to see, or I don't even think he's seeing clients. He shouldn't be seeing clients. I need to talk to him. But <laughs> um, uh, uh, we're just, we don't want to get him sick. So we're staying inside the camper, but we don't have our water running or anything in the camper yet. So we have been going inside, but we've got like face masks that we're wearing because we do have the stomach flu. So that's still contagious. So 
Uh, we're in here. We got Lysol. <laughs> we got food. We got our pets, obviously. We got our support team, our crew. Um, but yeah, so that's what's up in my life. So yeah, I am sick. And I did go to the doctor and got tested for the sickness, for the ailment that we are harvesting in our bodies. We are the host for this ailment. Why am I so weird? Okay, but anyhow, um, <coughs> the doctor we went to, I went to a, we went to a new doctor today, and I really liked him. He was really awesome. He was, like, very straightforward, and I don't know. He asked if we had any questions. He talked to us. He, le he like, let me know exactly, like, what was going on, and we even, like, bantered a little bit and talked, and, I like, I don't know. It was a good experience with this doctor. Um... And when we went into, my room. oh, by the way, your pets cannot get coronavirus, so that's good. Or the flu, because pets can't get human disease for some reason. Or I don't think they can, whatever. There are pets, I've had pets around my whole life when I've been sick and they haven't gotten sick. But anyhow, when we went into the doctor's office, uh, they... It was all like via phone call. We didn't go in or anything because they don't want the virus to spread or they don't want any diseases to spread. They want like minimal human contact, obviously social distancing type thing. And um, <coughs> my voice is going out. Oh my God, I need to wrap this up. Um, but um, uh, the nurses had like the, had like scrubs on, um, like a disposable vest thingy, and then a hairnet, I think. Did she have a hairnet? I don't know, but she had a mask for sure, and gloves, obviously. And then um, they were, like, very prepared, <clears throat> as they should be. And that was my, I don't know. I don't know why I told you guys that. That was just my experience on the uh, coronavirus thing. Maybe this will go in a history book. Hey, if anybody watches this in the future, hello. It's past L7. That was really fucking lame, but oh well. Oh. Um, <laughs> he's like, yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. Excuse me again. But I should have asked the doctor why, if I have the stomach virus, why do I have a cough? I should have asked him that. I don't know. I should have. So I'm probably going to call and ask because I'm concerned. So, yes. Um, and we have plenty of snacks in here so we won't starve. We have oranges because you got to get that vitamin C in. Um, we've got sage. If you didn't know, sage burns. What? Oops. What? What's going on? What? Hey, be nice. Uh, but sage burns like 98.7 or 98% of bacteria in the air. So sage is actually super fucking good for more than just uh, getting demons out and whatnot. Um, <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'm gonna wrap this video up because I'm losing my voice. I don't feel good. Um, I've got. Why are you staring at me? <laughs> but <coughs> I'm going to wrap this video up because I don't feel good one of my symptoms this is way TMI but I mean I guess do this if you don't want to hear it I don't know but um, we have diarrhea obviously and I have cramps I feel like I have to poop but I can't <coughs> poop like I have sat on the toilet for a very long amount of time like there are like marks on my friggin knees from like you know sitting on the toilet um, but i hope when i have to poop i hope it's like red alert because i always feel like i have to poop so i hope it's like hey girl you gotta go he's like what's wrong with you <laughs> he's like shut up what's wrong with you stop talking um you said normally you only poop about three times a week anyways yeah, I I guess it's not that normal to poop three times a week. Or yeah, it is. No. It's normal. Twice, twice a day. What are you eating? How much are you eating? He's 
wild. How much? How many? Leave in the comment section below, guys. How many times a day do you all poop? Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go. Um, like, comment, subscribe, do the YouTube thing. Uh, thank you for tuning in. I hope you guys have a good day. Um, practice social distancing. Um, practice some cooking while you're like trapped in y'all's houses. Uh, whip up some shit. I don't know. I love cooking, so, I don't know. I, my mom, <laughs> bless her heart, she has been freaking out about this whole thing. And I don't mean to be, but I'm a very aggressive person. And, <laughs> bless her heart, I love her so much. I try to be nice, but it's so hard to be nice sometimes. I'm working on it though, I'm trying, but she asked if I needed anything, but she's been like, obsessing over the coronavirus, like she was like, you have, you're gonna die, so, so, um, she, <coughs> uh, so she asked if she could do anything, and she, bless her heart, she brought us medicine, she brought us Lysol wipes, she brought us a gallon of orange juice, she's awesome, but, uh, she, uh, asked her if she could do anything, and I told her that, yes, I would like chicken noodle soup. So, I hope I get some chicken noodle soup, because chicken noodle soup is the bomb, and my mom's chicken noodle soup is the bomb. Maybe I can film a video for you guys on her making it. That could be interesting. Yeah, let's do that. That'll be fun. And it, that'll be so fun! I'm excited to film that. I have to make sure she's okay with it. I think she should. Here are all my pets. This is my family. If you haven't seen this dog, this dog's name is Bug. She prefers Bugawug. So, um, our cough is a bit concerning and I don't understand why the doctor would say you have the stomach flu but we also have a cough. But, I don't know, I guess I'm just going to trust the doctor and if I do have corona or anything like worse than the stomach flu. I'm just gonna, I guess, trust that my body's gonna heal itself and be good. Because I do feel like I'm getting better. This is like a week of being sick. So like, uh, I don't know, like a whole seven or eight days of me being sick. I do feel like I'm getting better. The first like three or four days that I was sick, I was like down for the count. Like I was not feeling it, not doing anything at all. Um, he's not as sick as I am, but or I was, but I don't know, the cough is concerning, but I guess if we die, we die, whatever, I mean, it's a part of life, <laughs> and then, um, also, people, if you're going to the hospital because you're sick, what the freaking fuck is wrong with you, you make a doctor's appointment and go to the doctor, that's why we have doctor offices that's why hospitals are for like the terminally ill and for like people who have emergencies and people giving birth the hospitals are for emergencies only so if you're having trouble breathing if you can't breathe go to the hospital but if you have like a wheezing go to the doctor so, I don't know, uh, I'll get off my soapbox about that, but that is like one of my pet peeves. When somebody's like, I'm sick, I think I'm gonna go to the hospital. Like, what do you mean you're gonna go to the freaking hospital? Is this an emergency? Are you giving birth? No. But, I don't know. Alright. Uh, oh yeah, while I'm editing this video, I just wanna say that I did not take, like, the corona precautions seriously. And I definitely should have. Like, I'm very thankful I don't have the coronavirus or whatever. I have a guardian angel. I truly believe I have a guardian angel. But, um, uh, I'm grateful I'm not that sick. I just have the stomach flu. And I should have taken, like, the precautions more seriously. So next time there's something like this, I definitely will 100% be like, okay, lockdown or maybe not that extreme but i will take more precaution than what i did so i will admit this it probably isn't my fault that i'm sick because i just kind of ignored i didn't really ignore the precautions but my sagittarius moon and my aries rising and my sun scorpio said fuck it let's do whatever we want but now i have realized that that was stupid and i will not do that again so <laughs> Uh, let's hope and pray that I will be smarter next time. Let's hope that I remember, um, 
that I remember this moment. Maybe next time I get sick or next time there's like a virus outbreak, I'll watch this video. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. Um, but yeah. Um, what else? Was there anything else I wanted to say? No. Oh yeah. Sorry if I look and sound awful. Um, I'm sick. So, it's how it is. But...